is so weird. What is going on? My name is Travis. Uh, if you're not familiar, I make a lot of Instagram videos. I've been kind of doing it for a while as a hobby and I've started to do it full time. And this is going to be my first YouTube video. So if I suck at this, please don't bully me too hard. I'm trying my best right now. So today we're unboxing some very, very exciting stuff. I recently signed a deal with Minel Symbols, which is a massive dream come true for me. And I've got some goodies to unbox, so let's get to it. So before I open this first box, uh, I just wanted to say thank you so much to Chris at Minel. Uh, I can't even believe that I have these boxes in front of me right now, and I'm sure you guys will see very shortly just how excited I am to have these particular items in my possession. So uh, let's get to it. Heart is racing right now. So, real quick tidbit. It is Boxing Day right now, and I was sent these packages probably about two weeks ago, which is an awful time of year to be tracking a package because every day, every hour, I'm checking my phone on the EUPS app. And for the last five or six days leading up to Christmas, we got a ridiculous ice storm here. So, I literally was just looking at the app and for five days straight, it would just say out for delivery, but I knew full well that there was no trucks running because there was so much snow and ice on the ground. But finally, I have them here. Let's take a look. Oh my God. All right. I'm just nervous to even have these. I can't even believe this is real. Okay, so starting it off. The very first symbol I have in this box. It's a Byzance Dual 14 inch multi-trash. I particularly picked this symbol because I'm going to stack it in another symbol that is in here. So we'll get back to that one. All right, moving along. The next symbols that I have in this package, 14 inch Byzance Vintage equilibrium high hats. I can't believe I'm holding these. I've wanted these for so long. They're kind of like, I picked them because they're kind of like a mix between a Byzance sand hat and like a Byzance vintage hat, but they kind of have like the best of both worlds, but also a bit more beef than both of those, I think. Uh, on top of that, Matt Garska is one of the most ridiculous people that's ever touched this instrument. Uh, so anything he designs is going to be ridiculous. So I can't wait to check these out. Moving on. All right, so here we have a 16 inch Classic Customs Dual Trash China. So this is actually going to be the bottom half of a stack that I mentioned previously with this Byzance Dual Multi Trash. So I'm gonna mount them hi-hat style and that's gonna be a spicy stack. I'm already excited just tapping it. I can't wait to check that out. I still can't believe any of this is real, but let's just keep going. This, I am very excited for. This is a, actually I should probably take it out of the packaging. This is the 19 inch polyphonic crash. I already used the 21 inch polyphonic ride. Uh, half the time I use it as a crash and it's unbelievable. These particular symbols are so balanced. They kind of cut through, but they get out of the way pretty well. They're not too bright. They're not super dark. This symbol is going to be incredible and I can't wait to try it. I feel like I'm saying that after every symbol, but I'm genuinely, I've been waiting like two and a half weeks counting the seconds till I get to try these, so I really can't wait to try them. All right, this one, this is it, the heaviest symbol in here. Oh. 22 inch Byzance Brilliant Heavy Hammer Ride. 
This particular symbol uh, I've been after for a long time. It is way heavier than I was expecting, but that's a good thing because uh, this thing is going to be one glassy boy. So we'll check in on that shortly. <laughs> All right, the last symbol in this box, which I'm equally excited about, the 22 inch dark Rob Bell ride. This symbol I picked because I already have a polyphonic ride, which has got a great crash on it. The middle area of the symbol is a little washy, doesn't really have a lot of ping, but the bell's pretty strong on that one as well. But I wanted something that kind of sits in between the heavy hammered ride and the polyphonic ride. Um, I play a lot of styles of music, maybe not all of them online, but outside of my videos, I do country gigs, I play hip hop, I do all sorts of stuff. And I kind of want something that sits in the middle of those two symbols uh, that has a little more definition, but isn't completely just ping city. So this particular symbol uh, will fill that gap and I'm really excited to check this one out. Moving on to the next box. Ah. Whew. All right, this is a big boy. I think there might be more stuff in here than I think there is because the rest of the symbols I ordered were pretty small. So maybe we're gonna get a couple surprises. Let's see. Skirt. Oh boy. All right. Uh, this box is huge and I can't sit down, so I'm gonna take it off the table and pull up each thing as it comes out. How's that sound? Awesome. You don't get a choice. So at this point, most of the symbols I'm going to be unboxing from here on are gonna be splash symbols and effect symbols, uh, which are probably actually the symbols I'm the most excited for. Uh, let's go. Okay, first symbol in this box. I actually have no idea what is in this, so let's find out. What do we got here? Yes. Okay. In this box, we've got some small boys. Uh, first one in this box. Eight inch classic custom bell. If you've ever watched my videos, I love a good ding. Who doesn't love a good ding? Lots of breakdowns will be had with this boy, so watch out. Moving on. Eight inch Byzance Dark Splash. I have looked at this splash for a very long time. Uh, I particularly picked this one because I like my splash symbols. I kind of I, I get busy with my accent symbols a lot of the time, uh, and the dark splashes kind of have an airy sound to them. They cut and then they get out of the way. So this is going to sound great, and let's get it on the kit. Next symbol. 8 inch traditional Byzant splash. Uh, I did want something that is a little bright, uh, similar in tone to the, uh, the Byzant's dark, but I wanted something that was gonna cut a little bit better and maybe be a little brighter. So that will be the purpose of this guy. I will definitely be using it in conjunction with the other one. It's gonna be awesome. Moving on along. 12 inch here alloy trash china this thing uh, will also be in a stack i have a 12 inch uh classics custom dual splash that i'm gonna put on top uh actually right here and uh, it's gonna be great because who doesn't love a 12 inch trashy china stack am i right Last symbol in this box. 
10 inch dark splash as well uh this is gonna go same reasons i picked the eight uh i just wanted a 10 inch as well because i love like i was saying i love to have hella small symbols hella small symbols i like to have hella lots i like to have lots of splashes okay That box is done. There's lots of other goodies in this box. Let's keep it rolling. Okay, this particular symbol might be the one I was the most excited for. The last couple years, I have used a little 10 inch stack under my hi-hat. Kind of, it has like almost like a trap snare sound, but that stack has just been made up of broken symbols for as long as I can remember. I'm finally gonna replace it with something that was designed to do that very thing but doesn't have a bunch of cracks and looks horrible on my very nice drum kit. I can't wait to hold this thing. Let's open it. Yeah. Certificate of Authenticity. How sick is that? It's official. They didn't send me a bootleg, which is great. Be a little concerned if they did. Yes, okay. There we go. All right, I am so excited to be holding this one. When they were on their way, uh, I watched demos about these. Si I watched the Matt Garska demo on these symbols like seven times a day. I'm pretty excited to mess with it, stack it in different orientations. It's gonna be awesome. So this is gonna be one of the most excited. Sim this is words. I'm hyped on getting these. All right, calm down. Not gonna throw this box because this thing is cool. All right, I believe this is the final symbol. This is the Luke Holland baby stack. Similar application to the temporal stack. I don't even think I said the name of the last one. Hold on. Okay, I'm pretty sure I forgot to say the name of this stack. Uh, this is the Matt Garska temporal stack. I was so excited to see it. I forgot to tell you what it was. Temporal stack two, that is. I'm still forgetting names. That's how excited I am to get this. Anyways, moving back along. Oh yes, again, bam, it's official. Okay, so this again, similar application uh, to the temporal stack. Uh, this one's just a little bit bigger. It's a little more airy. The other one's pretty staccato. Uh, so this one will probably live on the right side of my kit, like near my floor tom. I'm definitely going to use it in combination with my other stacks. And if you're wondering at this point in the video, I do have a stack problem. Here we are. So basically, uh, this one is made up of a Byzant 10-inch dual trash splash, as well as a, uh, it's kind of like a Classics Custom dual trash splash 12 inch this thing is going to be awesome i really am excited to try this yeehaw all right now that the symbols are done uh there's some more goodies in this box i actually did not know they were sending me more than just the symbols uh so let's see what else we got looks like we have a practice pad for practicing all those rudiments that I still need to learn. I swear this year I'm gonna do it more. Uh, and maybe this super sick practice pad from Meinl will encourage me to do so. Ah! It's been five minutes and I'm already breaking symbols. They're not even on the kit yet, Jesus. Oh, okay. We got the marshmallow pad. So this pad is like super soft, you can kind of see. Maybe, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like an inch thick of soft rubber or foam, I should say. Uh, so this will be for working on endurance and uh, building muscle because it's gonna be way harder to play on this than a regular pad. I'm actually hyped on this. I've been wanting a pad like this for quite some time. So get those, get those wrist, wristy finger boys working out. Nice. Uh, up next, we have a drumstick caddy, drumstick holder. It looks like customs helped themselves too because it is in a bunch of pieces 
and this box did kind of look like it had been opened. Uh, thanks for at least letting me have all my stuff. Customs, I think. Anyways, and there you have that. That's pretty dope, because uh, I drop a lot of sticks, because I'm dumb, I guess. I have no idea what this is. Uh, let's find out, shall we? Imagine I just sever my finger and then have to go to the hospital before I can go use all, any of this. We're not gonna do that though. Sick! Uh, this is, looks to be, I think, probably, it's a, a kick drum practice pad, which is sick because I'm going on tour and I was wondering how I was gonna warm up every night other than just sitting in the spot and going. So this will come in handy. Let's uh, keep on moving, that's awesome. Right on. Next up, we have a stick bag. Out of here with that. Little stick bag, uh, which is cool because I don't actually know the last time I owned a stick bag. I usually just put them in like a grocery bag or something. So this will give me one step closer to actually being somewhat of a professional uh, musician, I think. Next up. Uh, they sent me some drum honey, which is actually sick because I've been meaning to go out and buy some of this stuff. And I actually really like to use these on my cymbals sometimes, like on a ride uh, or the ice bell, just to kind of bring down the sustain a little more when I'm playing busier music. It just works really good on everything, really. So these will come in handy. Thank you. You know, I never really considered that this pile of garbage will be entirely in the frame of the camera, uh, but it's too late to do anything about it now. So. Again, first time doing this. You gotta live with it. Last in this box, we have a cymbal bag, which is sick because I had some cymbal bags, uh, but none of them were minel, and it'd be pretty whack as a minel artist to be walking around with my cymbals in a different company's bag, right? So this will come in very handy. Cool, let's move on to the final box. I'm pretty sure this is a drum carpet. I used to work at a music store for a few years and the Minel drum carpets came in a box about this size. So let's see if I'm right. I was right, hell yeah. This is probably the most cringe video anybody's ever seen. Uh, I apologize. Sick. We've got the Minel Oriental rug. Uh, it's kind of got like an Oriental pattern on it. I will probably be taking this on tour because the rug I use on this kit right now is actually stapled to the stage that it's on. Catch it in a city near you in January. Opening for Within Destruction. Quick plug. Yeehaw. Carcosa gang. So that will just about do it for this unboxing video. Thank you so much to Chris at Minel for sorting me out. I could not be more happier to be part of such a forward thinking and amazing, incredible symbol company. These are the best symbols I've ever played in my life. I'm serious. Uh, I am still in awe that I have had this opportunity and uh, I can't wait to move forward with this awesome company. So thank you for watching. Check out my Instagram in the bio down below. Do all the other corny stuff that people tell you to do. I'm going to be uploading a bunch more on this channel this year. Uh, so peace.